Okay, so let me show you the electronic signature using a tool like DocuSign. So here I'm on a SharePoint site. I'm in a, I'm going to go to document, my document library. And then I can select one folder. I, inside the folder, I'm going to have some documents. I could actually have multiple documents to sign in one go. I could obviously open the document, but I'm going to just uh, right click or use the little menu. And if you look at this, at the bottom, I have some more options. So I have get signature, sign, and even check the status if uh, I already sent it. So let's go and get the signature. So what's happening here is that SharePoint is sending the document to DocuSign. So for that, it needs to log me in first. So I'm going to make sure I'm logged in and uh, it's opening a pop-up. I enter my password, etc. Now I'm going to enter a recipient. So I just select uh, one of my email, which I already had before. But I can type anybody. It doesn't have to be a, a user, a SharePoint user. I can have more than one person, of course. I can send them sequentially, one after the other, or all at the same time, really. And uh, now I need to prepare my document. So at the bottom of the document, I'm going to add placeholder for signature, and then for date, maybe a, a title, maybe the name of the person, but I can even have initial, I can have a lot of uh, options. And I just click next. By the way, DocuSign is available in all the languages, so it's quite useful. And now it just returned to SharePoint. So that's the beauty. As soon as my recipient will have signed the document, then it will save the document back into SharePoint automatically in a little folder called DocuSign, but it's back to SharePoint. So I don't have to go there and find all my signed version, which is great. So how did I install it? Here is what I did. I went to app and then when I go to app, you just search for DocuSign as the app and we install it from the SharePoint store. So by just clicking here, it just adds it to all the libraries of the site and that's it.